we're going to be displacing action for Assange. They're doing a vigil. And there we are. Nice. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the live stream. Today, today is March 16th, 2021. And we're doing a live stream open discussion on food and health health and food diet and exercise it's a live stream that i sort of uh, decided to host i'm sort of uh open up the platform for people to talk because uh there was some discussion on our discord page uh by a few people regarding health and food and diet and exercise as well so i thought it'd be a good idea just to do a live stream and let people uh, talk and um, i'll just read comments and i'll give everybody my take regarding food and health i think uh, pretty much everyone knows of my take already uh regarding food and health but i will definitely share what i think anyway uh, my perspective uh, and uh, hopefully other people will show up and uh, give us their perspective All right aside from that welcome to another live stream this is our third in a row third of nine cheryl how you doing hope you're doing well hope you are doing well walking season is in has started uh, for me anyway i started doing that i'm looping the music uh, I'm doing my homework regarding our music. I am well, thanks. Awesome. MC Mike, good evening, everyone. Great stream last night. It was fun stream. It was that necessary. <laughs> MC Mike, I haven't looked at it to pull out whatever segments. Uh, uh, I've been going through the Kitty Cat video live stream and pulling out some segments. That's been fun. Uh, <laughs> we had everything fun stuff and while we wait for people uh, to show up uh, I'm just gonna give you guys my little intro I am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho if you want to support this work if you want to follow this work which is basically layered on mathematic patreon is a great way to do so I don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative comment share and share uh, like and for those of you that were supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support gang it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this Definitely not uh, going on sensor tube. Eh? Last night, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. And uh, just so you know, uh, if you're on Discord, you are on our Discord. Elder God, how you doing? I just took out the sensor tube bot that made automatic light. Well, I didn't take it out. One of our mods, I didn't know how to take it out. Uh, Caseman, one of our mods, knew how to take it out. So we disabled the sensor tube bot that announces videos going on sensor tube because we're going to be loading on all of our videos on bitchute and rumble not on sensor tube not everything's going to go on sensor tube and slowly less and less uh, if the discussions take take us there uh, less and less definitely segments are going to go there and stuff so uh, we're taking the initial step to lower our presence on sensor tube and amplify our presence on the other platforms right greetings from saint patrick's day is it saint patrick's day today no is it march 16th if you want leprechauns watch uh american gods neil gaiman's american gods controller zen i just had a patty melt at 10 p.m <laughs> i'll fail <laughs> hilarious smack <laughs> popcorn ready nice nice cheers cheers well grass void how are you doing uh cheryl oh yeah st patrick's day haha <laughs> one of the first videos the first video i really spent some time editing was a leprechaun video <laughs> i have an irish friend that uh, he dresses up with a leprechaun I, I used to go or he used to anyway i used to go out a party with him this was a yearly ritual for us so uh, i practiced my editing techniques on that video 
What up, Chicho? A shirtless guy, though. What are you doing? I've seen Mike. Yeah, I've dramatically reduced my presence on that platform. I like Twitch, Bitchute, and Odyssey is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking into getting into TikTok. <laughs> I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> it is in the UK now. It is in the UK now. Nice. It is your Chicho. Peanut butter pumpkin party. Right on. Happy St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Patty's Day, gang. But, you know, some people are disagree with Patty's Day, but I liked it. Uh, but was it yummy? But was it yummy, the patty melt? It's only eight where you are. 12, 12 a.m. here in N N W. Woo, N W. New Brunswick? It can't be 12. You're three. Oh, yeah, you're four hours ahead. Canada's four and a half hours wide yeah 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 i've been to new brunswick great place how do i reduce uh cush smell cannabis is that what you mean be wrong <laughs> the patty belt was great controllers and nice that's what matters oh man that sounds good you guys got the real good stuff out there get the guinness yep new brunswick awesome <laughs> potatoes and dozing i don't know what dozing bunk potatoes bunking ah uh -huh. never thought of uh, thought of it that way canada being four and a half hours wide yeah four and a half hours wide and russia is seven and a half seven look at new brunswick as a possible trip this summer from pennsylvania nice assuming that let us in if you can go in the summer for sure not in the winter beautiful beautiful Oshnyap. i started eating clean and working out a bit and i'm down 20 pounds since february awesome man that's great hang on i got to run out to the liquor store down the street i'll be back <laughs> it's not a bad visit definitely check out nova scotia as well on the way yeah i would say check out all of maritimes pei as well pei as well right amazing i got a taco bell commercial oh no thank you gang we are live streaming on twitch if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at and gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for being here thank you for the discussions thank you for the bits and the points and mods thank you for taking care of business it is in large part because of the collective support that we're getting on these platforms that we're able to do what it is that we are doing there's a rhyme and reason behind this madness i can't stay for too long fin fina fina ma baba fina ma baba too long but i thought i'd pop in to say hi might be back later awesome if you can let us know if you drop by and i always pronounce your name in all kinds of wacko ways and i think i i finally either settle on finn or bob ma bob fina ma bob but that's actually rolls off the tongue uh check out grand falls fredericton fredericton is awesome go to fredericton cheryl if you go to new brunswick go to fredericton go to the museum they got dali paintings there and i believe those are the only permanent dali paintings in canada right they have the gigantic horse i went there i've gone to new brunswick and i specifically went uh, to Fredericton to check out the museum there and the canal I canoed there it was really nice be careful with the canoeing the winds pick up some and it's hard to get across the river St. John Moncton Moncton is awesome as well St. John I try to make it but I ran out of money and hitchhiking wasn't working sweet you're just starting yeah just starting John Russia has 11 time zones. 11 time zones. Whoa. Yeah, Russia's huge. We do announce these live streams on Parlor, Gab, Mind, Minds, and VK. Okay, those are the four platforms that we're announcing on. And we do have a Discord page. And you can come to our Twitch channel anytime you want. And in the chat, type an exclamation mark social. And all those social networks will pop up i took out twitter i took out elo okay they're gone now and at the bottom you'll see our discord link 
you're welcome to join us there to participate in discussions. And one of the reasons that we're doing this live stream right now regarding food and health is because there was a little bit of chatter in our Discord regarding diet and health and whatnot. So I thought it was a good idea just to do a live stream and see where people are and what people want to talk about. And as I said at the beginning, I'll share my perspective, but I'm more here to be a sort of mediator, sort of hosting a discussion just to see where it goes controllers and i live right down the street from the da uh, dali museum in saint uh, petersburg florida ah uh, no way awesome awesome dali man i've gone to the dali museum in spain as well from the miniatures to the large they have too much large stuff you got the time zones those are all the time zones in russia well Cheryl thanks there are tons of options looking to camp out we'll see the second option is the wildlife reserve area north of Quebec City cool cool Quebec is beautiful as well Stoneham Quebec I'm in Quebec awesome boy <laughs> I partied I partied a lot in uh, Montreal who if if you're a Canadian gang if you're a Canadian if you haven't partied in Montreal you're not a Canadian you don't know where it's at right you have to have partied you have to have gone to the maritimes no doubt no doubt okay you have to have gone to one of either yukon northwest territories or none of it you have had to have driven through the prairies and you have had to have partied in toronto and montreal okay and checked out all the little towns and stuff like this and come to the west coast Two words that have been drilled in my weight loss journey uh, caloric deficit really caloric deficit why 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 caloric deficit so basically consume less than you're burning is that what you're talking about right so, so intermittent fasting works well too intermittent fasting i've done some fasting fasting is amazing i haven't done it for a very long time i need to do again sorry i'm half asleep so it's raw uh, raw footage which what is elder god the russian time zone stuff yes i have an eating window from 12 p.m to 5 p.m that's it that's the only time you're eating 12 p.m to 5 p.m wow so you're de doing uh okay actually my issue is maintaining weight oh elder god really but you work out like mad you need to take in more carbs if you're having a hard time maintaining weight gang finishing off the intro we will be uploading the audio for this live stream on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho and it should be available in your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and this live stream will most likely 99 percent loaded on sensor tube it will definitely go on bitchute and rumble and for those of you that are supporting this work on all these platforms Thank you very much uh, for the collective support. That's the reason why we're able to do what it is that we are doing. Gang, I want to take these down. Gina, how you doing? That you chill chat. Gina, Gina, before I forget. just from the conversation we've had here on China stuff you're talking about uh, esoteric stuff uh, you mentioned uh, about the witch burnings your comment about the witch burnings and crystals and stuff like this mm -hmm. if you haven't read if you're interested in that right if you and he, mythology where it can they like just you know what I'm talking about <laughs> If you haven't read Terry Moore's Rachel Rising, read this. Okay. This is the whole story. It's 30, 32 issues, I think, singles. Read this. I read it in, this, this is the first time I read it. And then I went and read, uh, bought the f 
I think I bought the whole run. I can't remember if I have the whole run of this or not. But this contains the whole story. It's black and white. Okay. Or read it. <laughs> and anyone else that's interested in... In history to a certain degree and mythology and uh, epic, epic stories. Okay, epic stories. Yeah, make sure I didn't knock that over. Morning, Chicho. Battleship Howie, how are you doing? Morning, all. First time catching a stream. Welcome, welcome, Battleship. battleship. I hope you're doing well. Yes, it's not starving myself, but just eating a bit under what I need to maintain uh, maintain the weight. Yeah, and that's all it is. Like, it's the equal sign, right? Dra Dragons, how are you doing? What up, Jijo? What up? What up? Elder got five thousand uh, calories a day, and carbs are relatively low. Uh, you're gonna gain weight with the carbs um, if you're just eating the protein you know this right you're building muscle like mad but you do need the fat to maintain the muscle no sensor tube sensor tube damn that looks like a nice read uh, gina it's amazing R brilliant oh sweet it's a graphic it's a gra it's it came out of single issues but they've collected it as an omnibus right and you can read it in graphic novels too i believe a shorter format Gaji, Gajil effects. Hey Chicho, how are you? I'm doing good. Thank you very much. Controls and people rave about Rachel rising. I'm sure it will be a show soon. Uh, Controller Zen, uh, it should be a show. It is, um, there are a handful of epic tales out there that the main characters, majority of main characters are female. Uh, there's serious character building going on and it's they're epic right they're you're like wow right uh it's something storytelling in a way that you do you will not get through hollywood and stuff like that rachel rising is one of them monstrous is another okay rachel rising almost all the main characters are female almost all of them okay epic 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 i'm not gonna i don't want to give any spoilers so i want to but i can't right uh so it's amazing uh, monstrous almost all the main characters female right epic 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 i'm a firm believer in the da vinci code of the uh witch burning that might be politics I, what, what's the da vinci code of what no no that's probably politics elder guy you're thinking it's the politics diet <laughs> exercise health i rotate my carb and fat fats and at weekends i mix them as a uh, changeover okay so you're not consuming your fats your protein with carbs right because that's the one that sort of works together to give you weight no so when you're eating protein you're eating protein and when you're eating carbs you're eating carbs you're not mixing it in there is that correct is that correct because from what i understand it's the mixture of the carb and protein that uh if the ratios are off if there's too much carbs and too much protein not enough protein you gain weight right uh excess weight so you have to have a nice balance ratio you shouldn't be eating like this much meat in a big gigantic bowl of pasta not a good idea right i'm still intermittent uh in using uh barbells scared i might be doing the wrong form uh, yeah uh, uh, m movement uh, uh is everything right the form is everything one thing i recommend um uh like for me right now i'm working on adjusting um 
my shoulders and the the muscles in the back and stuff like this because i've been online computer too much over the last few years so i have this posture so i'm building my back muscles so pulls my shoulders back right and i used to i've gone to the gym many 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 times right but even right now i don't feel comfortable doing weights heavy weights or any weights so what i'm doing to get your form get your muscle memory going into your form i highly recommend doing this figure out what um exercise you want to do right and what you need to do is tighten up the muscles just really focus on which muscles will be activated when you're doing weights and um, tighten them right work them without the weight so have complete like if you're doing i'm mainly doing the flies right either mainly lying down you can also do it going up like this right basically you want your muscles to have complete control over your body without any jiggle anything right and and then you can slowly start adding the smallest weight you could find right i had a friend that was a bodybuilder and i have a friend that's a bodybuilder i haven't seen him for a long time but he, we're still friends uh he was a bodybuilder and, a, uh, and he's a personal trainer and he goes chicho i used to go to gym with him right we used to work out together he he, he, he used to tell me he goes chicho people are crazy they lift more weight than they have to you go into the gym you see these big muscle guys some of them just just ripping it up and just it, on every set they do they're doing their maximum right he goes that looks fine and then you build fast muscles and stuff but that's how you get injuries right and once you get injuries it takes you months to come back from the injury if you can even come back from certain injuries right so you can lift go heavy every now and then but he used to say why lift more weight than you have to right make sure your form is perfect and even the smallest weight is going to build you muscle okay so that's one thing i learned so Eller got diet 60 percent protein 30 percent fat and 10 percent carbs wow that is heavy on the protein man but carbs is good 10 percent, 20 percent, i think uh max uh, you know for me i eat more carbs than that but you don't really want to go above 20 i believe right and fat 30 percent where's the greens at man where's the herbs and the well do you consider fruit part of the carbs but what about the where's the herbs and the greens where do you categorize those that's not protein fat or carbs that would be fiber and minerals so what do you categorize those that other god do you go like I, had, I used to have a friend really small friend strong as an ox machine worker right he used to he used to work with machines he if he got a hold of you he weighed like maybe 110 pounds if he got a hold of you with his hands it's like a bulldog right you 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 couldn't make him let go right and he used to his diet was zero zero percent count on fiber zero count on fiber really he used to eat this this was his diet and he used to drink like mad and i couldn't believe he was still alive right he would eat protein and fat and greens herbs lots of herbs lots of greens protein and fat bare minimum carbs bare minimum carbs the carbs he would get would be through alcohol but lots of greens lots of greens gina low hormone levels can also contribute to weight gain low hormone levels okay once i started estrogen uh supplementation the weight just started to fall off me really so low hormone levels okay Elder god i love to go in the gym to intimidate the apes <laughs> let's let's say gym rats let's say gym gym rats gym rats Ashni up yeah yesterday i forced my uh forced myself to finish a rap and i felt something pop in my head probably not good yeah 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 don't go crazy man if you're getting gang right 
recommendation if you're getting into weights if you're getting into any type of physical activity routine do it slow work your way up you don't want to break anything on the way up right it's like when you have an older car in general when you turn it on you don't put it in drive right away and go right you need to warm it up okay warm it up warm it up warm it up and you don't have to go on a 20 minute run or anything to warm up you can just stretch a little bit and do do things that are easy on you but get your blood uh, heart pumping a little bit and your muscles engaging okay the camera is going crazy with the lighting doesn't know if it wants to put the red shade on it or not i've seen like hey guys i'm back shout out to elder god good call on the beer brother chicho beer and math part of a great evening nice <laughs> the bane of existence yeah i mean no i i'm a no fiber guy as well as well it's indigestible for humans really so wait a second like no mint no herbs no no vegetables i eat it but it's not good for me very low though I can bench two times my body weight plus Gina uh, I went high fiber plant based a few months ago I felt great yeah everybody's different right but I just want to find out the bane of existence and elder God what do you like spinach uh, mint dill uh, cilantro zero ashnip for cardio would the stairmaster be better than treadmill yeah uh, as far as i know yes because what i understand about the treadmill when you're running a treadmill the treadmill when you put your foot down you're running on a tread and it gives you mini vibrations not even this but mini vibrations and your body doesn't really like that over extended period of time so when you your foot hits the ground you want to be solid you don't want mini vibrations like you don't want that right the other reason i believe the stairmaster is better is because there's no impact right when you're running there's impact so you're working the ankles and the and the knee they're getting that poof with the stairmaster you're not right and that's my understanding of it the bike is good gina oh well i need to start running my morning reports have a great stream okay G uh, gina hope you have a fantastic stream don't forget about Ra our stream is fantastic work schedule and don't forget about rachel rising uh, integrating plant-based platter I eat salad for fiber okay salad yeah that's good that's good enough as long as like for example uh, what about so potatoes I thought you like potatoes all ago so that would be your carbs what about beets root vegetables like beets like beets are amazing right alleged goon you guys are blowing Chicho's mind right now with the no fiber thing I know <laughs> like we traditional uh, beet root beet root like a traditional Persian uh, if you go to someone's home house if you get invited for Persian menu Armenian menu there's a there's usually raw greens herbs in the middle of the table or on somewhere around the table where you eat raw greens right greens is a huge part of a diet in the persian diet and armenian diet cheryl i graze in the gardening season haha <laughs> but in winter i have to be very in, uh, intentional about eating greens chard kale etc in soups stews uh, yeah yeah way more greens for us as well in the spring and summer and a little bit later in the fall right but winter more difficult it's just not readily available right 
Actually, yeah, I've been trying to raise my testosterone levels with foods like uh, pomegranates. So pomegranates high in testosterone, really? So red uh, red fruits. Uh, controllers and was going to say without fiber, your uh, proctologist is uh, making bank. Why? Your proctologist is making bank. <laughs> There's got to be something in there. I'll find the uh, all of a sudden a click for me. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, lentils are the main fiber. Aid. Ah, okay. But not often. Yeah, lentils is good. Lentils is easy to digest in, in, in the legume menu, legume category. Lentils, I believe, are the easiest uh, legumes, beans to digest. Uh, the smoothies I make are mostly greens. Okay, alleged good. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, and or Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on SensorTube. Borno, how are you doing? Took GRE, got a normal score, uh, studied hard, as fuck and got a lower score why the gre is the replacement for uh, it could have been you were under stress you were tired you um you psyched yourself out uh, you overstudied there there is a thing called overtraining there is so it's a fine line and the test the questions might have not just clicked maybe you just got off on the wrong side of the bed maybe you were too hot when you're writing tests maybe you were too cold writing tests maybe there was someone sitting beside you that was really annoying so you know they were chewing their gum and going constantly why elder god i have an issue with gluten and dairy products are basically suicide really you get bloated yeah elder god like pressure on the tummy ashniaf says i feel that deeply won't stop me though <laughs> stop me <laughs> i've been eating yogurt for uh, probiotics not exactly sure what it does uh, what it does uh yeah i eat a lot of yogurt too yogurt is the main dairy that i eat i love cheese cheese too cheese so good cheese yum yum and butter yum yum so i guess uh yogurt cheese and butter <laughs> the only thing non-dairy you know i don't do milk no i have uh cmpa 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 i don't know what cmpa is crone no crones is not cmpa I don't know what CMPA is. Talking about food, cow's milk protein allergy. Oh, oh. So can you eat uh, uh, skim yogurt? Like zero percent uh, skim yogurt? Uh, sunflower seeds roasted with salt. Talking about food, it's just raw organic sunflower seeds. I know roasting them is not the best thing to do, but or pan pan heating them, not very hot. Alleged goon. I have an issue with with milk and some cheese, cheese, but I tolerate butter pretty well. Sometimes I eat it by itself. Mm. That's when you drink vodka. You eat butter. Only if I want to meet God. Only if you want to meet God. No at least not yet mm. Ashna says tomato sauce won't cause me to flare up but raw tomatoes will okay what about tomato paste can you use tomato paste or is that too acidic for you Zobrowski, how are you doing? Perfect stream. I overate. Oops. 
<laughs> I did a little bit too today. <laughs> T gang, T, 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 T. You have to meet your evil clown. <laughs> and I got some uh, coffee with turmeric and sweetened with maple syrup. And uh, it's with oat milk. Um, it's quite delicious. It's like liquid candy. I can eat any tomato mix thing. It's just it's just raw raw ones. So weird. I got tested for it too. Wow. And I believe in the past people used to think tomatoes were poisonous so they wouldn't eat them. Uh I can't remember. I, I saw this during a movie. It was a Western movie, and I don't know if it's for real or not. I never checked into it. Or I might have checked into it, that's why it stuck with me. This is just uh um uh, cyan it's a it's a it's a it's a blend of three different packages of teas that i buy from the persian store and i mix them together so it's like earl gray cyan orange pico or um i forget what they are so i just call it persian black tea but the teas aren't from I, one of them might be from iran the rest are from one of them is from India and another one is from somewhere else. But basically Persian tea, the way you make it, Armenian tea, uh, Middle Middle Eastern tea is the way it comes out. Chichu, do you monitor your calories? No, Elder God. Uh, I'm, a, I'm coming out of the winter. Like us humans are sort of reverses, reverse of bears. Like bears, or that's the, that's the way I function. Uh, bears... When they come out of hibernation, they're smaller, skinny. And then they build their weights up in the spring and summer and late fall, get a little lot of weight, and then they go hib hibernate and live off the fat. Uh, for me, I'm sort of reverse that. I, I, because I'm eating heavier foods, right? And my friend that was a bodybuilder also did this too, a physical trainer, right? He would eat heavier foods so i eat seasonal f food a lot right so eat heavier food in the fall late fall and winter so you can build muscle right so if you want to go hit the gym hard and build muscle fall and winter is a great time to do it and then in the spring and summer you eat lighter food and you get rid of some of the excess fat right so that's the cycle i try to stay with so in the spring and summer my weight goes down a little bit and in the fall and winter my weight goes up a little bit so i put on a little padding in the fall and winter to warm up and then spring and summer lose it but i don't keep track of calories i don't do it i just sort of if if i've been consuming too much i just reduce it right my you i, I try to listen to my body and my body tells me you know um if i'm feeling sluggish if i've consumed too much all right alleged good it's amazing how people are so different and what foods they tolerate yeah that tea sounds good yeah it's really good it's really good alleged good and yeah and that's the reason i don't agree with all these oh ever you must go on this diet no you must not have to go on that diet right these people this diet is is for everyone no there's no diet that is for everyone right it's like there's no system of education that is for everyone there's no system in the world that is for everyone right elder god the 14 allergens are celery cereals containing gluten such as barley and oats oh so no oats for you grustaceans such as prawns oh prawns crabs and lobsters yeah shellfish eggs eggs wow some people are allergic to eggs fish lupin lupin what's lupin milk molasses wow such as uh, 
mus- oh, uh, mu- mollusks, uh, such as mussels and oysters, mustard, wow, peanuts, peanuts, yeah, S- uh, sesame, soybean, sulfur dioxide, sulfates, sulfur dioxide. Mm, what would that be found? And sulfates, if they are at a concentrated uh, concentrations of more than 10 parts, wow some allergy information okay lupin 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 wow man i know what lupin is but i can't remember cheryl to oshniap so any cooked tomato products are okay um uh, that way with banana bananas pineapples and avocados cooked okay it's an enzyme thing and it's awful really Bananas, pineapples, I, I have no bananas, I have known, and avocado, damn. Those are allergies, uh, alleged goons are saying. Fortunately, just four of the 14, four of the 14, cool. Zabrowski Chicho, yes, bodybuilding. Some of us are on the five-year uh, bulk, are you? Five years of layer, bodybuilding five-year bulk. What does that mean? Five years you've been building the bulk without doing the downturn. <laughs> I think you need a five year and but here's the beauty part, all right? If that's what you mean, you've been on the five year building the bulk, it only take you one year to convert that to muscle. Really. That's the kicker, right? It takes a little bit of off to do it. Right? It's the you have to do it to a level exercise wise where you crave it right you get addicted to it right in a good way right so once you've done enough exercise where you you need it you crave it you look forward to it man that's where you want to be that's the sweet sweet spot of health uh, oh lupin is legume okay so legumes is the same thing as lupin okay so beans and that's why peanuts are in there too Hell, I got last two are found in uh, cheap pop. Oh, is it okay? Ashnia, is BMI trustworthy? Because I'm fifth, five feet six inches and two hundred pounds, and it says I should be at hundred feet. Uh, uh, no, I wouldn't go with. It really depends on your body body type, right? If you build like a tank. And your muscles are like your you you would know if you got strong legs right and nice solid build I, I disagree that if you're five foot six you need to be 150 pounds or as opposed to 200 pounds if you're all muscle you're all muscle like I think it's the ratio of muscle to fat that's the one you want to watch right i don't agree with oh this within reason of course right if you're five foot you're not going to be if you're 400 pounds the odds are all that is not muscle because if all that is muscle you're going to need a lot of fat on top of that to maintain that muscle right it's not going to happen right so within reason <laughs> elder god is going to control this as elder god is going to look like the juggernaut elder god lupin is a legume that is more frequently consumed and used in the mediterranean especially in the form of lupin flour really lupin allergy is an emerging food allergy with variable uh, prevalence rates in different geographical regions it is more prevalent in mediterranean countries and australia and less so in north america and northern europe okay i gotta look into lupin uh, I, for a short period there i started using a little bit of uh, black bean flour and black bean uh, pasta i wanted to try it but to me all that means is they it didn't click for me initially but it was hard to digest because they probably taken black beans and ground them up and made the flour right well that doesn't take away from the fact that you should be cooking beans legumes for an extended period of time some legumes you need to make sure you drain them and stuff like this so i stopped using 
black bean flour and black bean uh, noodles. Uh, it was getting hard on the body, right? Hi, <laughs> oh my God, Asni, oh, that's the same way with me, but I look like Wolverine. Nice. By the way, the Wolverine portrayed in the movie, in the, and he he's done a fantastic job, but he's way too tall to be Wolverine. Okay, uh, I actually sat beside him in a movie theater in Vancouver once when we watched uh, uh, Sunday or Bloody Sunday. It was sort of a movie documentary based on uh, Sunday Bloody Sunday massacres. Uh, in Northern Ireland right and I believe he's Irish the guy who played Wolverine I forget his name uh, but he is huge he's huge <laughs> he's like built like a tank like the guy's like what is he like he must be six foot nine or something like this and like oh his feet were like this big it's like what the hell right but Wolverine the comic books is short and husky like probably five six and just Asniap, I'm still trying to reduce my fat level, but also build muscle so the scale can be uh, discouraging at times. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay to be discouraged at times. It just means you got more work to do. Dancing visual, how are you doing? I look like Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> Poor Pee Wee Herman. He got uh, he got a raw end of the stick, man. I think he was set up, maybe, who knows. But do not do uh, what Pee Wee Herman got zapped for, Elder God Chicho. I had decades of uh, stabbing pains in my stomach and burning urine. Oh, wow, it took me years to figure it out, really, because of the dairy. Really. Actually, yeah, there's some things I eat that my body doesn't like. I've reduced those a lot right actually yeah. once i finished uh, losing this fat i'll audition for the mcu's wolverine nice <laughs> dancing vigil he's australian is he australian ah nice okay good 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 he really wanted to watch the bloody sunday uh, movie and he, he seemed like a really nice man Not like he seemed really nice man he seemed really nice my only qualification five six uh -huh. not irish not irish that's the australian guy really he seemed irish to me for some reason roy's our boy have you ever learned the second language and if so do you have any tips uh english is my third language my first language was armenian my second language was farsi and my third language was english uh, any tips if you can go live in the country that you want to learn the language i know it's not possible for most people right but if you want to learn the language you have to immerse yourself in that language and use it right that's what i tell my students regarding mathematics as well if you want to learn mathematics you got to use it if you're not if you're just sitting there listening it's useless like sure you understand the concepts of Oh, what it means and how to do and stuff like this but you can't do right so if you want to learn a language I highly recommend going to a place where they speak the language and start speaking the language you'll learn it so fast Hugh Jackman that's right apparently he's 6'3 so yeah big guy had to had to look it up nice so Hugh Jackman yeah Hugh Jackman is Australian, a 6'3". I swear he seems so much taller. I think maybe because he was so much wider. Uh, he just seemed like... I just wanted to hug him. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> he used to be a gym teacher. He used to be a gym teacher. Nice. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Metromat. Matt. Mac Macromat. Oh my god actually hugh jackman is british he's british then not australian what the fuck he's australian google it <laughs> is he australian <laughs> so wait a second was he born in australia and lives in the uk or was he born in the uk and lives in australia does he have dual citizenship where are his parents from 
Where are his grandparents from? But took Aussie citizenship. He took Aussie citizenship, dual passport. Okay. Calm down, Jens. Calm down. Control the sentence. As far as I'm concerned, Wolverine's Canadian. <laughs> he is Canadian. So F you both. <laughs> Hugh Jackman is Canadian. <laughs> Zabrowski looked up Hugh Jackman's height, and the first thing is it says he's 30 centimeters taller than Wolverine's char Wolverine character. Haha. <laughs> 30 so uh, a third of a meter. About that much. Yeah. Where do they speak Farsi? They speak Farsi in Iran, in uh, western part of Afghanistan, and uh, western part of Pakistan as well. And certain, it's a different dialect. And uh, certain parts of Turkey, it's just sort of see. Iran is the core, and then go out a little bit, right? Because those imaginary lines on the on the map you see they're not the they're not the lines that distinguish between humans they're political boundaries economic boundaries right father is that his real uh name sounds like huge <laughs> huge jacked man <laughs> his parents were english he was born in australia okay Born in Sydney, okay. I demand the birth certificate. He's, if you want to know who, who Hugh Jackman's origin, uh, Incredible Hulk number 181, <laughs> or was it 180, <laughs> where he does the cameo appearance? Uh, Incredible Hulk uh, 181, uh, and he's Canadian. His parents are British, but has Greek heritage. He's Greek too. Damn. Control is laughing. He is Canadian. End of it. <laughs> One eighty-one. Yeah, that's the Hulk issue number that Wolverine makes. And I, I could have bought that, and I didn't. In the early nineteen nineties, I was at a, I was at a comic book show. And I had a booth and I was selling some comics. And this person came up and said, I have amazing. I, he had Harbinger Zeros, five copies of Harbinger number zero and Incredible Hulk number 181, a first appearance of Wolverine. I bought the I bought the Harbinger number zeros, the send away one, the pink cover, but I didn't buy it. I was so sick of Marvel at that time. They were putting out so much garbage and were bastardizing Wolverine. I just didn't want to have anything to do with them. Let me take off my glasses again. <laughs> so it is. He's Ant Antar Antarctican. He's Antarctican. <laughs> Elder God, like the movie. Your country needs you, Logan. Wolverine, the Albertan. <laughs> Zabrowski. <laughs> Roy is your boy. Kind of like how in certain parts of Europe... They would speak Greek in parts of France and Poland at one point, at least. Not sure if uh, they still do, though. Yeah. Answer, I'm Canadian. <laughs> Cloud. <laughs> Cloud or orchestra. I know, I know, man. What was I thinking? By the way, this is uh, alleged goon. I changed my name. You changed your name already in the same stream. <laughs> Don't you know I have a hard time remembering these names and pronouncing them? Cloud. Oh, funny. Controller Zen. That first appearance of Wolverine is actually my favorite rendition of his uniform. Ah, is it nice? The yellow. The yellow with the with the ears and stuff like this. I like the one in the in the 90s, the brown one. I like the brown one. I like 90s, uh, early 90s uh, Wolverine a lot. Really, and I like, uh, I like uh, Claremont's Wolverine. Claremont's Wolverine in the eighties, man, what a Wolverine that was! Oof, that was the Wolverine, not not contained, but intelligent, right? Ruthless, right? 
there are some renditions of Wolverine they make him not the brightest or, or they contain him you can't contain a Wolverine a Wolverine <laughs> Wolverine is a Wolverine right it, it, once it says I'm gonna go do destroy these people it, it either does it or dies right and Wolverine has died multiple times dancing visual I bet Aussies Irish Scottish and Welsh all sound the same to Canadians <laughs> uh, no no they don't they don't they sound different they sound different Irish sounds different than English and definitely uh, Welsh right and Scottish yeah they sound um, Scottish more so uh, Welsh there's a fine line Welsh is a mix the way I hear it is a mix of Scottish and Brit and uh, UK that's sort of the way I hear it uh, definitely if you had a four beside each other we, most Canadians will could tell who's who if they come at you randomly you might have a hard time you think Wolverine's a Oilers fan? I don't know. Asher Chicho, is there a five six Mexican Marvel superhero I can audition for? Yeah, there are Mexican superheroes. Um, yeah, El Diablo, El Diablo. I don't think he's he's seriously tall. El Diablo. Elder God, I recommend if you want a Wolverine type body, do the Jackman diet. Three chickens a day with broccoli and one potato. Wow, really? That's his diet? No. Three chickens? It can't be three chickens a day. That's crazy talk. And Cloud, I thought I was sorry, Chicho. I'm bad with names too and faces. <laughs> Hopefully the sounds sounds is good there. Cheryl. Uh they uh they don't to many Americans okay uh, to some Americans so I'd hope Canadians could do a better job I think so just because we're part of the Commonwealth right Claremont is brilliant 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 Claremont is really like a lot of people Alan Moore Grant Morrison Garth Ennis, uh, you know, this person, this person, this person. Man, Roy Thomas and whatnot, whatnot. Man, Chris Claremont does epic. Like, no one else does epic. Chris, Chris Claremont, as far as I'm concerned, if I don't care who you are in a comic book medium if they asked you pick five of the greatest writers in comic book history as far as i see it everybody might disagree on four of them but one of them must be clear chris claremont okay everybody might not put him first or second or third or fourth or fifth but in everybody's top five greatest writers of all time Chris Claremont as far as I'm concerned should be in there the other four can be exchanged with whoever you want really but Chris Claremont has to be in there so if someone if you if you want to go ask someone someone that knows their comic books and stuff like this and you you want them to ask you, you want to go up to them and say hey listen who are your top four greatest comic book writers of all time because i know chris claremont's in there if it's a top five which are the other four right uh phrase it better than i did when i went to the states they thought i was english yeah in the states dancing vigil <laughs> like we used to go to i used to go to the states a lot right um in the united states there are a lot of bubbles like really uh like what people used to think of canada or canadians was 
scary in the 1980s and 90s. It was like, you guys actually think Canadians are that? Not this. Controllers on. I wonder if Hugh ever used his claws to eat his chicken. <laughs> he has to have. It's too temp tempting not to try. Roy's our boy. I'd only be able to audition for a five foot four character because I'm very short. Five foot four. Yeah, there's um, there's a character. There's one of the superheroes in Alpha Flight. I forget his name, and he's five foot two, I think, or four foot eight or something, or five feet, and he's really strong too. He's one of uh, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine's buddies, or they used to be on the same team. Chicho, do you ever sell comics? Yeah, Seabass, I've sold some comics. I sold some comics in the 90s. I went to trade shows and sold some comics. Uh, I sold some comics in, uh, in the early 2000s when eBay first came online. I just tried it out. I wish I didn't sell any of them. Oh, I sold Amazing Spider-Man number seven and an Amazing Spider-Man 300. I sold the Amazing Spider-Man number seven for $45, <laughs> right? Uh, I'm okay with the comic books I sold with most of them in the early 90s because I went to trade shows and I traded comics and I got other comics, so that was okay. The ones I sold in the 2000s, uh, I wish I didn't sell those, and I sold some last year. Uh, to collect some data and to generate some money uh, on eBay and some of the ones that I sold man I wish I didn't sell them because they've shot up in price huge huge we sold venom number three and venom number four first appearance of call first appearance of null for first appearance of null the recent venom series we sold for sixty dollars and the guy tried to six dollars Canadian and the guy tried to scam me right and I had to contest it and eBay found in my favor that comic book was 9.8 9.6 minimum 9.8 higher maybe right right now that comic book is going for like i don't know like 400 300 bucks graded anyway uh yeah i sold some last year as well and i'm gonna sell some again i'm getting prepared to do a, sell some more comic books okay cloud thank you very much for the uh twitch prime sub appreciate it well rdj is shorter than cap they have to give him uh, heels in the scene rdj or robert downey jr yeah iron man yeah can we mix comics with calories <laughs> the batman diet and fitness regime is insane is is there one batman diet and fitness regime seriously elder god and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on censor uh dancing vigil i asked i once asked the canadian what part of us they they from <laughs> didn't go down well <laughs> hilarious some of the questions i used to get from americans when i used to go to the states in the 80s i was like what <laughs> you guys initially you thought they were joking and then you realize no they're not joking they were serious i was like okay oh alpha flight character is puck yeah puck puck he's a cigar chomping too he's he smokes cigars as well he's like a canadian beast Elder God, I've always wondered if Peter Parker has to has to up his protein to maintain his strength. Yeah, that's one thing I love about the Flash comic books, right? Flash is a DC Comics super speed, right? And he has to eat a lot. He has to consume so much calories to be able to run, not burn out. So I always love that aspect of uh, the Flash. 
I look at Chicho is down to the comic a rabbit Chicho Chicho is down to the comic rabbit hole. Please stand by it for return. <laughs> Peter Parker only drinks protein shakes. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Sunny Kiyoshi. Yoshi, how are you doing? Good morning. I hope you're doing well. Morning, good sir. Morning, old chap. Cloud says my beast mode brother Ashley yeah, to be honest uh, one of my top five reasons for losing weight is I really want to fit in a spider mask suit <laughs> you want to fit into tights you mean you want to look good in tights I can honestly tell you I'm not gonna look good in tights I'm gonna get into shape Zabrowski Chicho there's an old stand-up bit from Jim Carrey about explaining Canada to Americans it's amazing is it Zabrowski if you're on our discord link it up on our discord page on, under the Canadian uh, comedians folder I'd like to take a look at it and I I like Jim Carrey I think he's done uh, I don't know about his politics and stuff like this the drama or whatnot I, I don't care about that too much um, within reason of course but uh, I think he's an amazing comedian He's done really, really well. He's an amazing actor as well. Taori Chicho brother, Yoshi. Doing good, Yoshi. Hope you're doing well. How's the beast? <laughs> I've been seeing his uh, live streams pop up. I hope he's doing well. Shello, Sh uh, Cheryl, please see, uh, take photos and post in the Discord. <laughs> yeah, anybody that gets into tights as a superhero, please. Uh, post your pics in the selfie folder that way if some of us get into tights decide to do that uh, you know you'll look better <laughs> let's put it that way oh my god actually to get uh, to get the required protein without getting sick of food shakes are awesome yeah I yeah the amount of protein elder, elder god like if you're working out heavy uh the amount of protein that's one thing i do remember uh, my friend that was doing bodybuilding at the time um he was and and one of the things he was he was doing because he would change his diet when he was performing right so when a couple of months before he was going to go on stage to show his body like what he's worked on the sculpted body he would have to remove salt from his diet so we'd be at the beach right and by the way gang if you're doing exercise bodybuilding uh, fitness vitamin d is essential is super good for you especially after a workout right so my friend and i did this with him too we would go to the gym but he he did it every day go to the gym do a workout and then you go to the beach preferably is clothing optional so you go commando right you go naked and get some sun okay it is extremely healthy for you right and i used to remember we used to go to the beach and you know we bring food i bring dates and fruits and stuff like this and then he would bring protein like mad protein right and there was a period just about a week or two weeks before he went on to pro to show his body he would be eating protein zero fat no salt because he didn't want to retain weight right so he'd be eating chicken breast right and he didn't he didn't, it didn't look like he was he well he wasn't he wasn't really enjoying the eating he just had to eat it because he'd done a workout so he needs to feed his body protein so the muscles can build right and he wasn't eating the salt because he didn't want to retain water and no fat because you want to get rid of your fat right so all those pictures you see of the people that are on on the stage if they're bodybuilding their muscles are popping they don't look like that all the time right if you look like that all the time you're gonna die i think right because you need a certain amount of fat to maintain those muscles right so all those people they've gone a seriously full diet like regimen where they're not eating salt they're not eating fat they're eating just protein not no carbs no 
and they get rid of all the fat the muscles show their veins are popping and then once the competition is over they load up again okay I'm just uh, catching up with the chat actually I get the required protein without getting sick of food shakes are awesome he says all the god I love the way Canadians say about <laughs> controllers then Jim Carrey is actually a great painter as well his work is currently exhibiting here Ah, oh, cool controllers uh, I heard he was doing painting da, 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 da. he did Sonic the Hedgehog yeah he did Sonic the Hedgehog and that was great the Sonic was uh, Yoshi the Sonic movie I don't know if you agree or not was pretty damn good it was way better than I expected because I was expecting it to be like the Mario movies that he put out and the Mario movies were just completely horrendous so I wasn't expecting much from the Sonic movie and I came away going hell yeah Sonic Sonic is back baby oh my god you should see me and my bane mask on tights <laughs> that's individual what about william shatner's acting william shatner that guy i like william shatner he, he just uh shatner that's star trek right that's captain kirk uh he, he just seems like a genuine guy man he was great in sonic yeah i agree cheryl yoshi beast is all right i hope you're doing well bro doing well brother thank you very much cloud i haven't seen that movie but sonic was my favorite game as a kid kind of scared to see uh cloud we first sonic console sega genesis sega we played it we had it at our home right when we were kids uh what the sonic movie is worth watching if you like sonic watch the movie you will not be disappointed okay it it's not lord of the rings like that kind of epic it's a, just a fun movie and that's what sonic is it's a fun movie right or a fun game salt is the enemy of rip look yeah salt is the enemy of uh rip look like i knew another bodybuilder this is what he did before going on stage they would drink uh, the day of i guess they would drink a bottle of wine red wine because red wine completely dehydrates you and you would you would piss like a racehorse right like they would literally be like they're dehydrated so if you're dehydrated you're a little wobbly right your brain is not functioning very well right so they would drink a bottle of red wine to piss like a racehorse not the not the not my friend that was a bodybuilder or someone else right so they would look tighter right ashnia i didn't get enough protein so my last meal today was a protein bar and a protein shake wow cloud i eat way too much salt can't get enough <laughs> yeah. salt is uh, sh salt and sugar we all need to cut back on well most of us anyway me included how much salt is in a day is okay um tell you the truth from what i understand we don't even really need to add salt to food one of the reasons we start adding salt to food is to get the iodine the i i iodinized salt uh because that's supposed to be good for you right yoshi cheryl yeah jim is legendary you should uh, check out eternal sunshine of the spotless nine what a fantastic movie man and that cable guy was really good as well pretty different style for him yeah eternal sunshine of the spotless nine was amazing movie gang highly recommended highly recommended beautiful movie very deep very emotional very beautiful around 2000 it's, it's a boot not a boat <laughs> dancing visual i count salt as six grams a day max basically a teaspoon a day okay no this is a boot this is a boot <laughs> so ashley app so other god i use my fitness pal to track my 
macros and calories it's not 100 percent, but it's ballpark okay so there, some of you guys are using apps to track your calories yeah that's cool i didn't start out to watch sonic but my son put it on and i got sucked in nice cheryl i watched it intentionally i had to i watched the sonic movie four times in a day uh, i enjoy the movie and also have young siblings nice well, four times in one day might be a little too much. I'd rather play the video game four times in a day. Baby Yoda. Yesterday, I choked on a small metal ball and I had to swallow it. Will I poop it out or should I seek a medical professional? Note, I'm asking because in the description, it says food and health. Um, yeah, food and health. If you're not... It depends how small because if it's really small for one understand some people can't eat really small seedy stuff because their internals are in a way where the small seedy stuff gets lodged and they might get infected but as far as i know and this is not medical advice other people might have better recommendations or take on it i think you're gonna poop it out cloud i'm gonna watch the sonic movie then yeah, watch it. Let us know how you what you think about it. <laughs> it's like it's like racers are born that please feel free. I borrowed it from someone else. Right? Diuretic are huge when bodybuilders are cutting water before a show. Yeah. I tell you the truth, if I was doing that, I would rather drink a bottle of wine than take the pharmaceutical diuretics, right? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, Glyphtenoid says, piss like a race course. Also, I just re-beat re -beat Sonic one last year. Uh, you beat Sonic one last year. Uh, oh, Sonic one. Oh, last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You beat it again. I, I don't even know if I ever finished the first one. Still kind of challenge. It's a huge challenge awesome awesome sonic is amazing have you seen any of the uh speed runs on sonic one crazy i i have in the past i haven't for a very long time man i use that as well oh elder god use the same uh, app as uh ashnap to get all the gay chaos emeralds gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a journalist and publisher that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor two maximal sonic stamina sorry sonic the movie sonic the movie the one thing i miss about games these days is you don't get cheats uh on like we for example there's no cheats on uh we on the hand on the handheld thing some of the cheats are okay but usually i try to play my games without the cheats i finished uh i've said this before and i'll say it again i finished vice city without cheats sometimes i'm lazy and just want to skip stuff ah that's the kicker you want to be raised lazy there's something to be said man to finish a game without any cheats actually yeah. how are some drinks zero calories like g fuel is it says zero calories it still tastes good but what's the catch uh chemicals <laughs> why do rats eat rat poison tastes good to them why does it taste good to them chemicals seeds are like trying to digest steel pellets ah so you, would you you wouldn't uh elder god you wouldn't eat eat uh sunflower seeds would you eat sunflower seeds is that okay I used to eat apples and eat the whole thing right if i had a stick i would not eat the stick but i would eat the pits the core everything and then i stopped i heard something about it's not the best idea to eat seeds 
aspartame yeah aspartame is horrendous uh if i recall correctly donald rumsfeld was the ceo of the company that fast-tracked aspartame into the market in the 1980s okay donald rumsfeld is a mass murdering psychopath right so if you're consuming a product that was fast-tracked into the market when the person running the company was a mass murdering psychopath i'd say you probably don't want to consume that product thanks when i drink green tea i piss like a racehorse <laughs> indeed <laughs> when i drink salvia divinorum tea or when i used to you piss like a racehorse sugar-free pop is the devil sugar-free pop is the devil i agree and even pop that is sweetened not with artificial sweeteners it's not sugar it's corn syrup so pop is poison chemical hell and greed agreed with elder god cloud if it's zero calories it's probably full of artificial sweeteners yeah aspirin is dangerous yeah zabrowski chicho i had that cold brew coffee today that was mentioned last stream was great low cal too really ah we gotta try it out i gotta try it out uh the cold brew and the cold brew coffee is just take coffee grinds but instead of brewing them hot you put them in four quarts i think uh, if i remember correctly cheryl said four quarts of water and put them in the fridge for 16 hours in 1973 it was banned aspartame apple seeds have small amount of arsenic yeah that's one of the reasons i stopped eating it i watched a movie i forget which movie it was it was a show they harvested uh, apple seeds and poisoned someone with arsenic killed them artificial sweeteners aren't digest digested and it fools your body when your body craves sweets it gets the tongue flavor gets the sweetness but your body doesn't digest the sweetness it doesn't know what to do with it so your body continuously craves that sweetness so that throws your body into a chaotic state right so mt al but says artificial sweeteners aren't digested they pass right through your system and that's why you can get uh in intestinal discomfort and diarrhea if you drink too many diet sodas really damn not good cloud aren't apple seeds pretty high in uh, cyanide is it cyanide or arsenic not enough to do anything bad to you but maybe that's why people warn against it yeah and from what i understand if you ate like a cup full of apple seeds that would probably kill you or two cups or something oh yeah probably arsenic like cheryl says okay so arsenic we agree on that okay so arsenic not cyan cyanide because cyanide is extremely poisonous right piss like a racehorse is a british quote is that what it is canadian too we say it here a lot piss like a racehorse and obviously mainly in bars are oh, piss like a racehorse they go drink a lot of beer british style right soda pop is the devil soda pop is the devil 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 and colas rot your teeth the acidity level on those things is like three like three you should be and this is a factor of 10 right water you want you want to drink something that has an acidity of like 7.3 or something i think it's supposed to be a little bit above seven right acidity of three damn p ph of three not acidity of three but ph of three That's not good coffee candy is awesome too talking about gavi gandhi coffee with oat milk turmeric and sweetened with maple syrup candy i 
and my body knows exactly what this is and what to do with it. So wait a second, Cheryl, are we talking about cyanide? So is it, does, do apple seeds contain cyanide or arsenic? So Cheryl's saying cyanide. Ashley, if I don't feel sore after gym, am I not doing enough? Um, no, I disagree. Uh, because, and by the way, there's this thing with bodybuilders, right? They crave, they seek that soreness because when you're sore, you work your muscle to a level where they've broken down and you're going to be building new muscle, right? So when you go to a gym, when you, if you're new to a workout, you're going to be sore the next day, right? Usually two days you're going to be sore for. That means you're new to lifting weights right the more you do it and if you do this on a regular basis there's a lot of people that are bodybuilders that work out hard that can't get that soreness every time it's rare for them to get it so they seek it okay um, so it's it's a good thing to get it right as long as it's not joints it's got to be muscle right you don't want joint soreness if you're getting joint soreness, stop what it is that you're doing, reevaluate your posture, okay, and do whatever it is you're doing without weights until you get your posture down perfect and then you can introduce the weights. Probably porot. I have some decaffeinated instant coffee next to me right now. Aspartame equals piss like a racehorse and shit without notice. <laughs> Uh, what was that thing they call them uh, anal drip aspartame does that give you anal drip i know some of the chemical foods they give people anal drips don't eat chemical chemicals as if they're food you will get anal dripping you love to know it with decaf i like the instant instant better than the perked but with the regular i like perked more really Giftanoid. I'm convinced coffee is a flavor element too, not just a drug. Like Coke without caffeine tastes completely different to me. Okay. Cloud. I'm from New Jersey and say piss like a racehorse. Nice. Those poor racehorses. <laughs> Your new creatine is pH of 7.5. Cool. That's neutral. That's good, right? I've heard people take pre-workout. Is that worth take pre or a bunch of uh, chemicals? Uh, take what pre-workout? I know when you're working out, you should you should have some protein and some carb sugar uh, during your workout, so you deliver some protein to your muscles as you're breaking them down. Cloud coat. Okay, we're getting the uh, low down apples, apple seeds. Cloud coat. Apple seeds contain. Am amygdalin, amygdalin, a substance that releases cyanide into the bloodstream when chewed and digested. However, apple seeds in small amounts do not contain enough cyanide to cause harm. However, it is better to spit out seeds uh, to avoid any potential issues. Really? Okay, from, yeah, I won't even, I still sometimes eat the seeds, but I'm going to stop eating the seeds. Most pre-workout is just caffeine. Uh, just have a coffee much clearer cleaner cleaner really okay be like arnie he doesn't start counting till the pain starts haha <laughs> cheryl and quote apple and uh, crab apple seeds and seeds of some other fruits like cherries peaches apricots oh serious so crab apple seeds too oh i guess it would for sure okay it's a good thing i'm gonna we eat crab apple butter, so we don't get the seeds in there. That's good. If we do, we're not going to eat them. And apricot seeds, peach seeds, and cherries, cherry seeds. So cherry seed liqueurs that I have, uh, we only drink a little bit of a time. So uh, we'll, I'll make sure we don't drink too much of it. Wet ass dream. Wet ass dream. Is that what they call it? Wet ass dream. Maybe. Oh my god my body can handle 
10 liters of liquid in one day but i won't recommend trying this no that's a lot you got to be taking in some minerals elder god if you're drinking that much water like you're you're taking minerals as well right cheryl olestra that was fat fat substitute for chips etc that cause anal leakage what a marketing nightmare was that what it was that was what it's called right <laughs> crazy and there was there was pills that they were selling telling people that eat these pills before you eat and or during you eat and you won't digest uh, your food and you'll just poop it out and those pills were giving people anal leakage as well olestra it was like a diet thing it was like damn what the hell legendary rob boss how are you doing in my opinion coffee is a crutch i've been off coffee for about uh for for about a month i must mean that says uh, and not regretting it the cause definitely outweigh the benefits cool my whole family has a coffee pr a coffee problem yeah you can get seriously addicted to coffee i agree so any type of any, anything you guys can get addicted to pull out right salute gang I'm trying to work and I keep <laughs> leakage dancing vigil says I'm gonna love that. Automon zapped the dancing vigil. Spectral shots. Sounds like it would take at least two hundred crushed apple seeds to be fatal. Okay, two hundred crushed apple seeds to be fatal. So that would be about a cup's cup of apple seeds. Okay gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a journalist and publisher that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or a julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor 2. ashley up does anyone know how to get whiter teeth cringe to admit but mine are a bit of the um yellow side ashley asked, are you drinking tea and coffee are you drinking any type of liquids that are dark if you do after you drink them you're finished drinking tea or coffee or whatever it is wash your mouth with uh, water that'll reduce the staining effect that's my recommendation and it's supposed to be baking soda uh, brush your teeth with baking soda i've heard but don't take that recommendation uh, I try check this out I tried toothpaste that was made with um, charcoal black it was really weird right so it was charcoal and we bought one toothpaste and we tried it out and our teeth felt crazy clean it was like whoa this is insane right and then we found out that it's not a good idea to use charcoal toothpaste because it gets rid of the enamel it's rough right so i'm just saying that just so you know anything you hear here is not medical advice <laughs> uh, find out what some of these things might do right uh so baking uh, brushing your teeth with baking soda might be okay but uh it might hurt your teeth right it's like apple cider vinegar there are, i did this for a little bit apple cider vinegar i was drinking in the mornings and then I wasn't washing my mouth with water to get rid of the apple cider vinegar because apple cider vinegar is acidic and it hurts the teeth, right? So if you're drinking apple cider vinegar, make sure you're not sipping apple cider vinegar and just washing around your mouth because that takes some of the enamel off, protection off your teeth, right? In 2014, I went without food for three months. Really, I only took creatine, monohydrate, and vitamin supplements i have never felt so good really but how is that maintained long term not, not not three months but 10 years 15 years what are the side effects of that right i'm trying to because your digestive system would go into like much muscle atrophy right and then you must have introduced food very very slowly right is that true elder god dancing visual i'm trying to work out <laughs> that's the one that's the one that got automatic zap 
I have cold brew with honey and almond milk cold every morning and try not to get it at Starbucks and waste money. Nice. So Chicho and I uh, uh, have that in common. Nice, nice. Yeah, don't waste your money at places like Starbucks. What's that you're drinking? You? This is uh, uh, coffee with oat milk, uh, turmeric, and uh, maple syrup. Sweetened with maple syrup is really good. Uh, yummy. Elder God, truth is diet can be anything that works for you, no matter how crazy it sounds. Yeah but you should look into the long-term effects there are people who go on certain diets and all of a sudden they're not getting like for example people who all of a sudden go vegetarian right they've been eating meat and then they go vegetarian but then they forget they need iron right and it's very difficult to get all the iron that you need if you're going full vegetarian so you need to take supplements or really make sure you're eating the right vegetables and greens and stuff right but they don't do it and when they don't do it there's health issues that pop up if you're not getting enough iron or if you're not getting enough calcium so it might work for you for a short period of time but you have to you know see or do the research to find out what the long-term effects of a certain diet are okay it's like the go mad diet the diet is completely crazy I'm scrolling down man chicho i use uh, uh charcoal you use charcoal toothpaste do you it feels amazing but elder god look into it from what i understand over the long term it's not good for the teeth because it's taking off the enamel okay so look into it it feels great really it was really weird brushing your teeth and your mouth is black and it's like a little bit weird sensation but man it felt clean the real nc mike chicho i know this is off topic but are you or anyone in discord familiar with discrete mathematics i seem to be struggling a bit even after using the course material and also extra material i'm also doing a self-directed course so there's no prof mm -hmm. for the course either um i've taken discrete mathematics um but I don't remember the high level stuff right it really depends on the level and there are some people that come to our discord in the math folder that might be able to help you out there used to be more that came but there's a couple of people that haven't been around for a while that were a couple of them were doing their phd in mathematics stuff which was really cool all right uh but you can post a question and I can take a look at it if i if i know it if i can help you out i will if i don't you know someone else might be able to so you're welcome to ask in our discord in the math folder okay i'm scrolling down gang dancing vigils got bob, bob ross going on actually yeah, one time i tried to go vegetarian a week my co-worker said my skin color was weird <laughs> little bang off yeah you gotta make sure if you're doing extreme diet changes you gotta make sure you're getting the right minerals vitamins and all that jazz right do you blend the oatmeal um no this oat milk we just buy it you can make your own oat milk though so uh but my partner has made her own oat milk, oat milk before you blend it up and then you put you soak it and then you can press it and i think that's the way she did it you, you put weight on it and pressed it and the top is just oat milk right and you do get sort of oat milk when you make like uh cereal like in the mornings like oats and stuff when you cook it up it gets milky right give it a rinse and then you get it milky dairy products are great for the teeth but you also must weigh out weigh weigh about 500 pounds and eat grass <laughs> oh my god uh, ki no ki elder god i disagree on one level uh kitty cats eat the grass too kitty cats like eating grass but kitty uh kitty cats should not drink milk from what i understand uh cat like dairy is not good for uh full grown cats anyway 
they can't digest it from what I've heard. Cheryl, I switched to a Sonicare toothbrush a few years ago. It made a huge difference in stain management and not as much pressure on my gums. Ah, it was a scrubber and my gums took a beating. Totally worth the cost. Totally worth the cost. <laughs> okay. I've heard other people say that is really good. Dancy Mitchell, coffee with turmeric. That will make you piss like a racehorse for sure. <laughs> Dancy Mitchell. <laughs> Cheryl, I use a natural toothpaste with almost no abrasives. Cool, cool, cool. I was scrolling down, gang, to see if there's anything directed towards me just to catch up with the chat. Smith, the man, the legend. How are you doing? Ashley says, I miss honey bunched, bunches of oat cereal, but alas, I I am obese. You're obese? You're losing weight though, yeah? When does your next uh, album come out, sir? Ha ha. There's a surge with sunglasses, bald surge with sunglasses. She shows this one now with sunglasses. Uh, so. <laughs> We're talking about it. I love honey bunches of oats with almonds. Oh, fun, fun. Oh, wow. We're almost at the two hours, gang. Fun stuff, man. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. I hope we're still streaming. I'm going to the Twitch page and saying there was a network error. Please try again. There it is. Nice. Okay, we're still on. Good, good, good. Oh, but the other thing I've heard about teeth that are stained, they're supposed to be stronger, right? So if you have stained teeth, supposedly it's stronger than white, white teeth. Don't take my word for it. I, I just, this is rumors I'm passing on. I'm being a bad node. I'm not checking the information coming to pass it on. So I'm just passing it on. Cheerios released an oat and honey version and it tastes incredible. Serious. I used to like I don't eat Cheerios anymore, man. I don't eat any of the nasty cereals or anything like this. Uh like none of the you know processed extremely processed uh with chemical uh cereals and whatnot. Smith. I have a colleague with the uh, veneers. Every time she smiles, it reminds me of a row of nose. <laughs> get, get her name in a secret Santa thing and buy her charcoal toothpaste. Just put a note on it. Only use this, this tube and once you're done, stop using it because it's taking off everything off your teeth. Ashley, my cheat meal is barbecued wings mm. i don't eat all day because i like having my wings at night oh my god Aldegon, i am so glad the music stream is not this week some of the albums went over my uh, brother i uh, by the way gang we have a we did a music uh music uh live stream where we recommended albums and we chose five albums to listen to i believe right i one of one of them was my recommendation which was big pun so i was looping big pun so i finished looping big pun one of the other recommendations was tool so for the last week i've been going on walks and looping tool and man it's their 1999 album tool i've seen tool i've seen 10,000 days uh tour that they did i believe it was a 10,000 days that i saw or maybe it was it wasn't laterals uh it was ten thousand days i believe so uh it was amazing this album is amazing the 1999 what and it what a fantastic album right big pun is fantastic tools fantastic the next one i'm gonna loop is portisette and then there's two more that i need to loop and once so my apologies if you haven't done it uh yeah i'm with you all the god i'm going slow with the music uh, i need to loop music to really appreciate it so certain things uh i need to listen to for a long time 
have you listened to elder god did you do tool what's a good cereal you recommend i i use nature's uh there's a cereal brand called uh, this is not a recommendation i'm not being paid i don't know how good they are but i like the taste i've looked at their ingredients seems to be good nature's path those are the cereals that i get the brand and they have a variety of them and i get a variety of them i don't stick to one take a process enrich like tricks for example cereal and blend it dry and make make a magnet out of how get a magnet out and dip it in why a magnet what i missed something here legendary raw boss yeah i never walked down this uh cereal and snacks aisle since i since since like four years ago i lost 70 pounds yeah yeah they're full of sugar and nothing that your body can process properly then take a non uh processed cereal and do it yeah robert ford not 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 chicho do you have an opinion on the safety benefits of uh ingesting uh crot crotom no i don't know is that the psychoactive plant that made the rounds that people were talking about like i think it came on the scene about eight years ago ten years ago that people were using uh, specifically in regards to uh, kicking heroin addiction is that the one cloud is very addictive kratom is very addictive oh my god winter heat uh one i tell a fly by benjamin uh, clementine okay i haven't listened to that one yet i haven't been able to find the i gotta listen to it online i gotta listen to it at home yes i like that one as well heat two ah there it is what are heat two? Oh yeah that's what it is two uh two fear inoculum by tool what an album what an album uh the other one capital punishment by big pun okay winner heat three so heat one was benjamin clementine i tell uh what i tell a fly by benjamin clementine okay that's one album you have to listen to uh winner heat four was hallowed ground by violent fams yeah i gotta listen to that too i I've got, that's the next one i'm gonna listen to after all uh portishead and winner heat five was dummy by portishead and i know dummy but i haven't listened to it for so long yeah chicho pain relief pain relief yeah that's the one okay i read up on it back then um it seemed to be okay but it was a uh, it had its own problems associated with it right and i think they made it illegal in some parts so i didn't look beyond that oh god i'm getting in uh to the habit of doing this evil to hopes how are you doing hi choo choo i have changed my diet to 50 percent silica gel <laughs> what's that called soylent green soylent green dancy vigil i haven't had added sugar for two weeks i keep having withdrawal symptoms like mood swings and loss of balance oh really dancing vigil that after two weeks i think that the way it works is it takes us about two weeks to uh kick a habit in terms of food anyway the for the cravings to diminish a lot so take that with a grain of salt okay robert ford yes chicho i used it i used it for coming off heroin but other people use it for pain or as an antidepressant kratom yeah that's the one so robert uh, listen what i read about it was legit right especially if you're trying to come off heroin my the, the main thing i looked into it was trying to help people with addiction right addiction to harder drugs if you want to call heroin a harder drug right 
So on that front, it seemed legit. I didn't look into the long-term side effects and stuff. I heard some stuff, uh, you know, on the periphery I was reading. Um, but some people were test, you know, they loved it and they said it changed their lives. And where governments step in with the help of pharmaceutical companies, with the backing of pharmaceutical lobbyists to criminalize something that is taking their business away, I tend to give that thing more weight. Okay, so that was my take on it. Meaning that if the centralized power of pharmaceutical companies want to criminalize something that is helping people, okay, that is less addictive than the drugs that they're selling, then that's more of a plus for me than anything. Okay. Dancing visual, you're gonna be divorced soon. Oh no, Smith, shame. I don't see any Dr. Alban in this list. Um, recommend the next time on our music stream, uh, Smith. Yeah, some states is illegal. Yeah, that's it, it hit my radar when states started making it illegal, right? So, as soon as states centralized power tries to criminalize something. For me, it's a Streisand effect. I look into that thing, right? Why do they fear this thing so much? That's my take. All right. Evil to hope. The removal of the nervous system can eliminate all pain-related problems. I'm sorry to bother you. Bother, bother you of all people. No. I never had alcohol or drugs, but once I went over 24 hours without sleep and felt all loopy. Yeah, Ashio. And a lack of sleep is a form of uh, practice that people do to reach a certain level of consciousness or unconsciousness, if you want to think about it, but disassociation, really. Right? So it is a lack of sleep can be psychedelic experience, right? Evil to chew. I'm impressed by the amount of hair on <laughs> you. I don't think I do. Glyptonoid to me, Krantom is very similar to Kava Kava. Yeah, I know a little bit about Kava. And I looked into Kava Kava like 20 years ago, right? Cloud. I first used Kratom like 14 years ago. Uses it quite a bit. I found it. Uh, can cause unsteady emotions anxiety shakiness and really bad withdrawals but it absolutely should not be illegal just like all drugs yeah yeah the, uh, war on drugs is ridiculous it's control power right they're waking navelli up every hour navelli i don't know what that is i don't know what that is gang we're into two hours let's call the stream we're having a day break in our schedule for the streams but uh on thursday we're doing comic book reading on friday i think we're grading comic books on saturday we're going to look at minerals and crystals under a microscope lamp microscope or ma lamp uh, lens magnifying lens not microscope <laughs> magnifying lens right and then we have other streams set up as well okay so we got a few more streams set up i think we've got at least five more to go and uh, we might be doing a comic book haul maybe 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 unscheduled tomorrow maybe a few days from now i'm not 100 sure yet okay uh elder god day off day off I was gonna do one and I by the way we're gonna do as soon as I set up we might do an unscheduled uh, live stream where um, setting up a because I'm gonna start putting some of the exercise and solutions together for uh, the math the language of mathematics contents that we've created so I might do a live stream where we create uh, sort of a unit test for factoring module that we're gonna to put together where I've have basically 90% of the videos already created like 14 years ago, right? So there might be a math live stream where 
we have the same setup as the reading comic books where we go through and I put a test, a summary, a summative together for factoring polynomials really. And I'm breaking it down into two sections and stuff like this. I've already laid it out. Just have to go through it and create the questions, the problems. And I want to do the problems. That way I have it available to give to people. Okay. Meaning to start buying comic books, comic books, comic books. Here's our next set of live streams on Twitch. Kittens, March 14th current events march 15th we already did that food and health march 16th that was today that's what we're doing reading comic books march 18th grading comic books march 19th crystal minerals march 21st math march 22nd chicho salvia divinorum chronicles march 23rd and personal finance march 24th thank you elder god for posting that okay Ashnell, thank you, Chicho, for making my work shift more bare. My pleasure, my pleasure, Cloud. Also, admittedly, if one strain made me feel good, I used uh, uh, I used way too much of it, given my addictive person. Yeah, and that's the kicker, right? So that probably is part of what gave me the negative effects. Yeah, and that's the thing. We need to get a hold of our addictions, whatever they may be. Yeah, I agreed on that too. I had some good experiences too. Cool gang thank you for being here if you want to know what this work is about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to support this work you want to follow this work patreon is a good way to do so for those of you that were supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support gang i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons gang so you can follow the work and if you think this work is can use your support supporting this work through patreon is a great way to make sure we continue to do what it is that we are doing and we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at and gang thank you for the follows thank you for the likes thank you for the subs thank you for the bits thank you for points thank you for being here thank you for the discussion and the information and mods thank you for taking care of business we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor minds gab and vk and you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want and in the chat type in exclamation mark social and all the links will pop up and at the bottom there you'll see that we have a discord page as well and we have a few hundred people that have joined our discord page where people are sharing a fair bit of information and you're definitely welcome to join us there and uh participate in the discussion we will be uploading the audio of this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o as a podcast and this audio this podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this live stream to SensorTube, to bit to rumble and once we start getting more points on odyssey we'll load them up there uh, as the points allow and if you're on those platforms you can support this work by liking sharing commenting and if you're on sensor tube you can support this work by joining sensor tube membership so gang thank you for all your support thank you for being here and if you can make it we got another five streams to go and we got 761 members on discord right on right on gang i hope you have a fantastic evening morning afternoon and see you guys in two days for comic book readings bye everyone